I'm back. After four and a half years of posting videos, I took a year off from YouTube. So where have I been? And what have I been up to? But more importantly, what can I help you with in the new year? Let's talk about it. So I'm back. My hair's a little shorter, maybe a little gray in there now, but I'm back and I am ready to get back to YouTube. So let's talk about what I was doing when I took that year off. Really, it all started in December of 2023 when I started a large enterprise project at my job and I was in charge of everything. And I worked on it throughout 2024 and of course continued to post videos at that time as well. But when it came down to crunch time, the couple of months before we launched, that was January and February of 2025, I really needed to focus on that project and that project only. And the launch went smoothly. I was very happy about that, but then came the scope creep. And if you're not sure what scope creep is, that's when the features and the request for a project continue to expand while you're building the project. And as a project manager, you really have to fight those off to keep the project manageable to meet the initial goals of the project. And so I did a good job of fighting those scope creep requests off during the building of the project, which was huge. But then after the launch, I couldn't fight those requests off much longer. And it took another three or four months to add some of the new features that were requested. And of course, everyone's now happy, but that took some time also. And now by this time, it was already mid-2025, and I was definitely ready to work on something else. But instead of coming back to YouTube, I was assigned another project where I worked in a front-end role only, which was a nice change of pace, and I really enjoyed that as well. But that took some time, a couple of more months along the way. And I also had a pet project at my job, which was building an agentic AI chat system for our company, and that is going very well as well, and I hope that launches soon this year. And then before I knew it, 2025 was almost over and I had spent the entire year building projects, but I think that's a good thing. I don't think I want to be a developer that just creates YouTube tutorials. I need to continually build things and share my experience with you. And now here's the important part. What can I help you with this year? I want to get back to creating videos. I definitely think it's time to go back and focus on some of the JavaScript basics, the foundations that make writing good code possible. And I think that's more important than ever with some of the AI slop that we're all seeing out there today. And speaking of AI, I've really got into the AI SDK from Vercel with Next.js. And I want to make some videos about that that are a little more advanced. And then for mobile apps, I'm very excited about where React Native and Expo are headed. And I've discovered the head of product at Expo, John Samp, lives right here in Lawrence, Kansas, where I do. I definitely want to get John on the channel this year. I also want to address some of the doubts that AI has given computer science students. Enrollment is definitely down in computer science now, and I think that's partially because of tech bro headlines saying that no humans will be writing code in three to six months, when some of those headlines are already well over a year old. I want to share some of the reasons I'm still very optimistic about writing code this year. And I've also heard there are fewer coding tutorial channels than there used to be a year ago at this time. That's not why I took a year off, and you can definitely plan to see more of me this year. Keep visiting my channel. So I have just one request for you. That is to take a minute and leave a comment and let me know what you want to learn from me this year on my channel. And of course, remember to keep making a little bit of progress every day. Progress over perfection. And if you learn just a little bit every day, it's going to go a very long way. A quick shout out to my patrons. Holy Coder is a progress provider. My senior patrons, Sean Lynch and Gregory Perry, and my junior patrons, Michael Fox and Malik Franklin. It really lets me know I've made an impact in your lives. Thank you very much. Remember to keep striving for progress over perfection, and a little progress every day will go a very long way. Please give this video a like if it's helped you, and thank you for watching and subscribing. You're helping my channel grow. Have a great day, and let's write more code together very soon.